You have a 3% chance to get a job by applying online. This is for both private sector and government jobs. So this means on average, you would have to apply to 34 jobs in order to receive a job offer. We're gonna improve those chances here today. Have you ever heard that you need to know somebody in order to get the job? There's some truth in that saying. Companies and agencies do not like the unknown, especially when they come with such a high cost. A bad hire can cost a company twenty to $200,000. The way that 30 to 50% of jobs are filled is through referrals that comes down to who you know. So what do we do about this? We become known. And one of the best ways to do it is through LinkedIn. I want you to sign on to your LinkedIn account. And if you don't have one, don't worry, it's free, takes about 10 minutes to sign up. Once you are on LinkedIn, you're looking for people that work in companies or agencies that you would like to work in. So this could be Apple, Amazon, IBM, or on the government side, this could be the Department of Homeland Security or the Department of Justice. In addition to the company that you desire, you need to find somebody that has a similar background to you. This means that you have something common with this individual. This is what's gonna separate you from a complete stranger. If you served in the Army or Navy, then you can filter people through that branch of military. But if you're not in the military, say you went to a high school in Ohio, you can search and filter people that went to that exact high school. Same thing with a university or college. Even if it was a small university. For example, I went to Park University. And right now on LinkedIn, there are over 77,000 people that went to the same university as me. If you've only worked in Walmart or Target in Arkansas, same thing. You can filter and search individuals with the same background or a similar background that you have. Okay, so now let's run through an example. Let's say we wanna work in an IT position for Amazon. And I previously served in the Army. There's an Amazon second headquarters. They just built it about 20 minutes from here. Say I wanna work there. Let's find somebody. On the upper left corner, there's a search box. Type in Amazon and press enter. Next, click people. Click all filters. Click Washington DC area. Scroll to current companies and click on Amazon. Scroll down to past company and then click add a company. Type in army. Scroll to industry and click information technology. Now click show results. What we're looking at now is a list of over 100 people that work in Amazon right now and they have a military background. They have an army background. So then at this point, you would target two or three individuals and send them a message. Let's click on this profile. Here, you have an option to connect with the person. We will click connect and then click add note. This is an example of what you can type on a note. Thank you for your service, Tom. I also served in the Army. I plan on leaving my current role next year and I have been considering working at Amazon. I would love to ask you about your personal experience during your transition. Do you have 15 minutes available to speak next weekend? And then click send. Now, Tom may never respond to me and that's okay because we're sending this out to several individuals in the industry and location that you're trying to work in. Remember, this is not just for military members. This is anybody that you can find common ground with. What we just did is ask for an informational interview. And these last typically between 15 and 30 minutes. It can be in person, it can be over the phone, it can be over the computer. Either way is fine. If you're meeting in person, I would recommend offering to buy the individual a cup of coffee. Remember that relationships are give and take. You do not want to be the one that's constantly taking, taking, taking. The goal of informational interviews is to find out information that will make you a competitive candidate for that agency. It is not to ask for a job. Do not ask for a job directly. Here are some questions that you can ask during an informational interview. You want to develop an understanding if you want the job, is it a good fit, and how can you position yourself to potentially get that job? So what are the benefits of doing an informational interview? It can show you the steps to get the job you want. It can prepare for future interviews with that organization, and it increases your network contacts. 
Building these type of relationships can actually get you a referral with the company. And a lot of times it's not even with the individual that you're having the informational interview with. That person can know another person who knows another person and your name or resume can be shifted or you can meet other individuals that are already working there, right? So you could easily meet perhaps someone who knows the hiring manager, if not the hiring manager themselves. This is a way to become known. And when you are known, you are less of a risk. Now, I'm not saying you should stop applying online completely. That should always be a component in your job searching strategy. But you really need to put more importance on building that network and conducting these informational interviews. Now, if you're watching this and you're stuck in a minimum wage or a low paying job and you're sick of it, you want something better. You need something better. I wanna share with you five jobs that can help you escape minimum wage. And if you would like to learn about them, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.